Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald and I'm excited to read this book to you. I just went to the zoo and saw Fiona the hippopotamus that was born in Cincinnati and it made me want to know more about hippopotamuses. So I'm going to share some pictures. And some video that I took of Fiona. And I'm going to help you learn along with me more about hippos. Okay, I got this at the library. It's Hippos Are Huge by Jonathan London, illustrated by Matthew Truman. Here we go. Hippos are huge. Look at that. Ooh. Hippos are huge, except for elephants. No other land animals are as large as hippopotamuses. They can weigh as much as 50 men. A full-grown bull weighs up to four tons and can be 12 feet long. A hippo has the biggest mouth of any animal except for a whale. Bigger than mine. It says, in fact, whales, along with dolphins and porpoises, are hippo's closest living relatives. And it says a hippo's jaw can open four feet. Oh my goodness. You wouldn't want to try it, but you could stand a baseball bat straight up inside a hippo's mouth. Don't get that close. Watch out, a hippo's yawn is a threat and means stay away. Which do you think is the most dangerous animal in Africa? A lion? A crocodile? No. Would you believe that the hippo is the most dangerous animal in Africa? With their monstrous jaws and razor sharp tusks, hippos can bite a giant crocodile in half or chomp a small boat in two. And they are fast. They can run faster than a human and they can travel faster in water too. And here it says, though it's hard to prove, many sources claim that hippos kill more people in Africa than any other wild animal does. Mothers sometimes kill to protect their young while bulls kill to protect their territory. Hippos tusks can probably grow longer than your arms. Hippos don't really swim. Look, first hippo dives with her ears pressed against her head and her nostrils close. It says a hippo can run 25 miles per hour and travel six miles per hour in the water faster than an Olympic swimmer. You might think such huge creatures would be awkward underwater, but they're surprisingly graceful. Next, she bounces gracefully along the bottom, kicking off with her hind legs and glides, then dances on her tiptoes and kicks off again. Like whales, hippos communicate underwater with clicks, squeaks, and deep thunderous bellows. Hippos can hold their breath for up to five minutes. How long can you hold your breath? Hippo bursts through the surface spouting fountains of water from her nostrils. Here it says, hippos must stay in water as much as possible to keep their skin from drying out. On land, their skin oozes a slimy reddish oil that acts as a sunscreen. To avoid the hot sun, hippos do their grazing at night. When hippo isn't dancing along in the water or chasing crocodiles, she spends most of the day with just her eyes, ears, and nose sticking out of the water resting and watching. A cattle egret picks its dinner of insects from hippo's ear. A fish nips tidbits of food stuck between hippo's teeth. Yum. You might think that hippos would snap at birds or fish that came near them, but they don't because they're helping each other. There, so he's getting his teeth cleaned and his ears cleaned and they're getting their dinner. Just, oh my goodness, just then, a great commotion erupts and Hippo watches as two bulls square off. Splat! Splop! The two bulls turn and stand rump to rump. Then they swing their tails like baseball bats and swap balls of dung at each other. That's poop. Hippo poop. Oh my goodness, I wouldn't want to get in the way of that, would you? A male hippo is called a bull, a female is called a cow, and a baby is called a calf. It's a smelly message to keep out. 
If you hear that noise in the background, that's my puppy playing. When this doesn't work, the defending bull yawns to show off his powerful tusks, then pounces with a great roar and attacks with giant jaws. Hippo watches as they honk and snort until finally the defeated bull limps away. Oh my goodness. It says battles can be bloody and can rage for more than an hour and both bulls will show battle scars. And here it says stronger bulls get to mate with cows in and around the nursery where mothers take turns watching the calves. Cows start having babies when they are seven or eight years old. In the nearby nursery, Hippo watches baby hippos playing. Look at them playing. Playing is good practice for when the bulls will need to protect their territory from other bulls. Two calves play play fight in a hippo tug of war with their jaws locked together. Soon it will be Hippo's turn to mate and in a few months she'll have a baby of her own. Hippos mate in the shallow water during the dry season and calves are born in the water eight months later in the rainy season when the grass is plentiful. Months pass, the rains come and fill the lakes and rivers and now it's time. Hippo stands neck deep in water and a baby is born. Baby Hippo paddles to the surface and his head pops up for his first breath. Then he dives back down and nudges Hippo's teats for her milk. And here it says, a newborn calf weighs 100 pounds. Fiona only weighed 29, so she needed to grow a lot. I bet they had to take good care of her at the Cincinnati Zoo. For the first four months, he'll only drink his mother's milk. Hippos are herbivores and their main food is grass, which they eat at night. Adults may eat up to 100 pounds. Oh my goodness, per day. In one day, 100 pounds of food. Wow, that's a lot. A few weeks later, Hippo and her calf join the nursery and wallow in the mud. They snuggle together and gently lick and nuzzle each other. All hippos love to wallow in mud, which keeps them cool. And though hippos are ferocious, they can be gentle too. Oh, that's nice. Though baby hippo looks tiny next to his mother, when he's six months old, he will weigh 500 pounds. Hippos are huge. The end. And then here's an index that tells us things. And then here it says, about hippopotamuses. Historically, hippos have lived throughout sub-Saharan Africa, but now their numbers have been vastly reduced and they're largely confined to protected areas. In 2006, hippos were added to the endangered species list as vulnerable. Still, they are hunted illegally for their meat and their ivory tusks. With help from conservationists, long may these giants who dance underwater with their whale-sized jaws and small twirling ears, survive. The end. Wow. I think that was really interesting, and I know a lot about hippos that I didn't know before. And I'm going to share some more video from whenever I visited the zoo. And if you want to see it, you could just Google Fiona, which is F-I-O-N-A, Cincinnati Zoo, and they have lots and lots of videos of Fiona and her mom, Bibi, and her dad, Henry. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk to you later. Look at those teeth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here comes the baby. There's Fiona. I hope they come up again real cute. Oh. Hi, Fiona is following. Are you and Bibi and Fiona in their habitat? If you do have any questions, feel free to ask. I'd love to answer them for you.